This is MSJ Chem, and in this video I'm going to look at the variable oxidation states of the transition elements. So I'll explain the ability of transition elements to form variable oxidation states. The table below shows the common oxidation states of the ions of the first row D block elements. The first row D block elements include the elements from scandium to zinc. However, zinc is not considered a transition element, so from now on I'm going to blank out the zinc column. So as you can see, all the transition elements except scandium can have an oxidation state of plus 2. This is because the 4s electrons are lost first when transition elements form ions. The majority of the transition metals such as titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, iron, cobalt and copper, they have variable oxidation states, with manganese having 5 and the highest being plus 7. A comparison of the successive ionization energies of calcium, which is an S block element, and chromium, which is a transition element, explains this property of the transition elements. And that's what we'll look at next. So to understand why transition metals have variable oxidation states, we'll have a look at the comparison of successive ionization energies in calcium and chromium. So if we look at calcium first, you see a big increase between the second and third ionization energy. So we look at the electron configuration for calcium, the 4s electrons are lost first, and then this big jump in ionization energy corresponds to the electron being removed from the 3p sublevel. The 3p sublevel is at a lower energy than the 4s. It's also closer to the nucleus, so there's a stronger electrostatic attraction holding the electrons, so more energy is required to remove the third electron. So if we look at the successive ionization energies for chromium, we don't see the big jump until the seventh electron is being removed. And the reason for this big jump is the seventh electron is being removed from the 3p sublevel. The first six electrons that are removed, they are being taken from the 4s and 3d sublevels. Because the 4s and 3d sublevels are quite close in energy, there's no big jump until we remove the electron from the 3p sublevel. So to summarize, calcium has a large increase in ionization energy when the third electron is removed, whereas chromium shows a large increase when the seventh electron is removed. This is due to the closeness in energy of the 3d and 4s sublevels, and this is the reason why transition metals have variable oxidation numbers.